So today we're talking about the Canon EOS R6 and more specifically, we're gonna get into the intricacies of the Canon EOS R6 and some of the things that I think that you might not know about. Okay, so first up, the Canon R6 comes with the electronic front curtain shutter enabled. So to a lot of people that might not be an issue or you might not even know what the electronic front curtain shutter does, if you don't know, then check out one of my EOS RP videos. I'll link that above. In this video, I'm not gonna get into depth about why you might wanna switch the camera shutter type to mechanical right away. But um, you know, long story short is if you're using the electronic front curtain shutter, you're gonna run into issues if you're shooting in daylight situations with fast glass where you're you're really opening the aperture up. And the reason is you'll start to see that the out of focus areas start to look really weird. You'll start to see some clipping in the out of focus areas. This tends to start to go away a little bit if you're shooting from like F4 and above. So if you're shooting at those smaller apertures, what happens is that the effect that the EFCS has on the out of focus background just isn't as apparent. So uh, but again, check out my video if you want to learn more about that. All right, so this next fact about the Canon EOS R6 is a big one. And this happens to be one of the biggest reasons that I don't like the Canon EOS R6. And that is when you're shooting in C-Log, your skin tones tend to lean more towards the yellow side. So I took a series of video clips for you guys, uh, two shot on the Canon EOS R and two shot on the Canon EOS R6. I did the exact same profile and white balance for each of these cameras to make sure that everything matched as much as possible. Um, so on the Canon EOS R, I shot in the standard profile and C-Log. And then on the R6, I also did standard and C-Log. And I'm going to show you how they stack up against each other in terms of color. And I think you're going to notice a pretty big difference once we get to the Canon R6 C-Log profile. Here is the EOS R in the standard profile. And here is the Canon EOS R in C-Log. This is the Canon EOS R6 in the standard profile. And here is the Canon EOS R6 in C-Log. Okay, so now let's take a look at all of them together. And you can definitely see that the C-Log file on the Canon EOS R6, for some reason, leans more towards the yellow for skin tones. So with a little bit of time and finagling, you can correct this. So even though this is kind of a pain, if you guys want to see how I fix those yellow skin tones in the Canon EOS R6, definitely subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section below if you want to see that video. All right, so the next fun fact about the Canon EOS R6 is that if you want to get an actual live view through your electronic viewfinder and your LCD screen, and, and when I say live view, I mean a, a, an actual live view of what's going on in the scene. So if you're tracking uh, wildlife or if you're tracking running kids, you can actually see where they are in the moment and you're not seeing a, a an image of a previous photo that you just took. So to do this, you actually need to drop your camera into continuous high mode instead of continuous high plus. So you'll be getting about eight frames per second instead of 12. But when you drop it to continuous high, you'll see in the menu that you can actually enable high speed display mode. So if you're shooting any really fast action like sports or wildlife, and you really need to anticipate where your subject is gonna be going, then I would suggest putting it into this mode. All right, so the final bit of information that I have for you in this video is that when you go into electronic shutter mode, your pictures will actually drop from a 14-bit file to a 12-bit file. So you'll be taking a small hit on the dynamic range. So it's something that you should know if you really need the absolute best dynamic range from this camera. I was considering talking about the HDR PQ mode in this camera and Canon Cloud, but I'm gonna save those for different videos in the future. But again, if you wanna see those videos, subscribe to my channel. And that's it for today. I will talk to you guys later.